Which one was that? <sighs> it's so crack good. Berry. good. That was good. I thought he put blueberries in it too. Nope. Dude, to know that they just that make was, that shit no. based off high thoughts. There so was, cool. I added zero, nothing to that shit, bro. Yeah, that's it's incredible. insane. That's how good. That's how good flavor these fucking products are. <sighs> you have that for. I'm so meal. happy that we're partners with them. That's so fucking cool, dude. Fucking insane. Thank you, Ross. Yeah. Thank you. Shout out, Flavor Ross. Gang. Thanks, Ross, Daddy. Anyway, let's get fucking into <laughs> uh, it, boys. Eh? Yeah. Welcome back to the D2 Podcast. Around the table, we got Zach Blachek, Nick Justice, Lance Hefner, and myself, Zach Devo. Um, thank you to Bash Mouth. Um, code D2, uh, supporting the pod, and then the Flavor Gang, per usual, Code D2. Um, how we doing, boys? Brilliant. Good, brother. What's going on? Doing good. I should have worn my podcast shirt. Yep. Fuck. The only one. The only one. <laughs> I love today. looking at that. We've got dumbbells and doobies all across, and then there's just a little spider <laughs> he logo. Goes, yeah. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> if that would have been a Batman logo, I would have been like, keep it. Yeah. Keep doing that. No, it's hilarious. it's even on the right side too. How yeah. much? Uh, hop how much up. superhero clothing do you have, dude? I have a lot. I honestly, like, yeah. like so. Me and Cassie would go to these farmer markets or whatever, um, or, or I think they're like thrift shops outside. It was more like, like a, a, flea, a flea market. Flea market, yeah, flea market. And we would go to those. And they I would always spe- have. I would specific, specific. <laughs> nice. I would specifically look for like Batman vintage stuff. Really, or like any superhero stuff. That's cool. That's was cool. cool. Yeah, like Joker stuff. Like, um, yeah, I would just like, like stuff with you have some pretty yeah, dope ones that you found. I found guys, a couple this summer. Dude, so. uh, the yeah, civil yeah. regime Joker T-shirts are some. cold. I saw some. those. They're pretty sick. That those. was civil regime. Yeah. yeah, really? They made sick Damn. ass shirts. Dark Sport got right. his Batman drop. So yeah, the Bane one. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's, the, things, that's so the only one that's been tempting me in a while. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just because he was a unit. Yeah, he's that one hundred percent. Yeah, and it's just like th- they're finally like it's kind of moving away from just more basic ass traditional designs, and it's, they're getting creative with it. And I'm yeah. like, I love that they keep bringing back the dark superhero Knight. shit, bro. Yeah. They're like selling. They oh, it's yeah, such a yeah. great movie series. It's, it's a great unreal. marketing. Yeah, tactic, so everyone good. loves superhero for sure. Yeah. Everyone loves superhero. Like they're realizing that their biggest drops are the Marvel and DC collabs. Yeah, I feel like those are the hottest sure. things right now because the, mo- sure. the movies are always coming out. Like there's such big hype like about DC and it's it's transitioned into something different. We need a good movie. We, I was just yeah. gonna say they've I butchered know, the I past. Know, hey, know. don't we have um don't we have Loki coming up in October? Oh yeah. shit, that does look yeah, good. Yeah, do it. That could re- that could pull me back in a little. Yeah, bit. that and Moon Knight were Disney. by far. Yep, agreed. Moon Knight and Loki were by far my favorite. I TV feel like yeah. that's such a shitty like. I mean, not shitty, but like there should be more than just those two in that. Oh, oh no, for yeah. sure they butchered everything else. But that sucks. But yeah. dude, Loki though, I will say that was. I think that's one of my top favorite Marvel things. Of but time. I'm, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, it's. Phenomenal. I agree with that. It's great. I'm just, I'm really skeptical of how they are going to put Kang back in there, though. I Me think too. they're using oh, his normal you know? parts. Really? I, th- yeah. I think you're going to see small clips. You think small? I think they've he's done in the trailer. Pre-record. Yeah, they've oh, done. Oh, he is. Yeah. Oh. Has he done a trailer? Oh, I, oh that's he's right. He's in the trailer. Oh, that's he's, right. Remember, he's the old professor, like yeah. the origin, one of the origins of him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where he's got the glasses on. Because that's how what that's trailer? how season one ends. Wait. I don't know. One do you of the think, trailers has Do you think it's going to be... Oh, do you shit. think he's going to have a bigger part because he has another movie coming out no. in the future? Oh, really? So you're uh, kind of teasing? No, they're going to keep him quiet because he still hasn't finished the case. Yeah. Oh, yeah. True. No, he's clear. No, they haven't fully finished. Yeah, really? no, he's good. No, I don't think so. Yeah, Marvel and him are back in productions. They, they said they're not going to. Yeah, but they said they were going to continue forward. Yeah. Because they trust him, but it's not through yet. Oh, okay. Oh, so they I announced see, they're I not see. swapping because you can't swap him because he's phenomenal. Yeah, for sure. He's, he's phenomenal. Great. He's great. You would have to. How do you do it? How you do know, you the him? moment you, you knew can't. he would be a good no. Kang is when. Um, in the movie with Ant Man, you know when they finally get the ship back up and yep, running, yep. Yeah. and he looks at the girl and he gives her one opportunity. Oh. He politely says, "Get in the ship." Yeah, and then she yeah. goes, "Tell me who you are," and you see him just like twitch an eye, and he's yep. just like, <laughs> "See, dude, I'm they, gonna ask I one think, more time." I think they he's they stuck. did really he's good. Psycho in him. They he's made psycho. they did really good in that movie, making him seem really fucking evil. Yeah, like like his scenes were dark. Like his he's entire scared, yeah. his entire fucking mission was very dark with all the animals and all that. You know, that's uh, you're thinking of uh, you're thinking Guardians. Guardians. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking Guardians. That's right. That one's that fucked, dude. That fuck, dude, that that's made right. Me so sad. A lot yeah. of people, a lot of people have complained Baby about raccoons. that. Baby raccoon. That gave that me shit. such a more respect for Rocket. Yeah. Oh, After yeah. seeing that, I'm just like, dude, that's Bro, that shit so gave me sad. like. Well, that was his set, not his send off, but that was to like. I still didn't like that movie. Yeah. Because the show, it's going to become a show. Like, you called it that one time. 
time, I yeah. bet that becomes a show. For sure, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, the, the new Guardians is going to be a show. It's going to be stupid as fuck. I just really liked how we got to see his origin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too. Like, sad. That was sad. Sad, me too. sad, sad sure. as fuck. But it gave me such a more like respect for you his forget, character. You forget that's Bradley Cooper. I do. <laughs> love, I do, oh, yeah. love that. Every time I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy that. stuff, man. I love superhero movies, but it's about time we get a really good one coming out. Yeah. Hey, we need energy drinks. Yeah. Let's get into this shit. Today, hold on. We got the collab. Uh, we got the ghost uh, sour strips. We got a lot of good My snacks. Webs aren't working today. <laughs> I'm I trying to get web the today. joint to me. Web that joint to him because I can't do it. Oh, you I'm want it? Yeah. Spider Man. Wow. There you are. Look at this presentation. All right. I like this. Yeah. Let's These see. cans. Can are looks dope. great. Okay. Here we go. Pretty solid. Holy shit! Oh, shit. That's strong. That's sour as shit. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's intense. It's a sour strip. That's I for think. Sure. Oh, I already know where I'm at. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, trying to digest the. Yeah. What do you got? Um, yeah, I would say it's in the it's seven. It's very range. accurate. It tastes like. like I'm gonna go. Uh, you know how that sour strip has that like licorice taste? Yeah, it's yeah. sour as shit. <laughs> it's not like super sour, but it's kind of like I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven three. I'm gonna go seven three. Oh wow! Okay. I'll go seven. Yeah. Eight. Are you going lower? I'll go I, seven. I was eight. gonna go seven nine. If wow! You, because I think it's if you enjoy like like because you know some people buy those sour warhead candies and yeah. shit. Yeah. If you like that, you're gonna love this. Oh, sure. good point. But if it's you're sour. like if you like a little sour, but it's gonna get old after a while, I think you could put it in the mid seven. If you're a sour person, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go seven uh, seven nine for that one. Nice one. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like if you like these candies, you're gonna like this. You're gonna love this. Yeah. You're gonna love it. Dope can. I love the can. Dope I think can. the can is like the can is awesome. The coolest part about it. All right. Um, so next, it's good. <laughs> all right, boys. Here we go. Ghost sevens all around the board. Yep. Yeah. Pretty damn good score. Not our favorite, but we would grab it out of the fridge. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of the beginning of this podcast. Let's go. Cool. We are going to get into the flavor gang edible fucking cookie dough, baby. So Let's go. That was now, such a great hype up. <laughs> dude, that was. All right. I'm about to read the macros on this shit. Okay. Now, macros for this one here, right here in my hand, the oh. peanut butter chocolate chip. We got 60 calories per serving. A serving is 30 grams. Total fat, 2 grams of fat. Carbs, 17, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Protein is 5. Now, the carbs that this is made with is allulose. Now, it says here on the packaging, so I don't fuck this up. Um, our cookie dough is sweetened with allulose. It shows up on the nutritional panel as carbohydrate, but when counting carbs, you can count allulose out. So go ahead and enjoy a sweet treat with all the calories. <laughs> Thanks, allulose. So you guys, these allulose carbohydrates don't count as carbohydrates, apparently. Um, so this is extremely low calories. See, How do you like it? See, there's already a scoop in here, Devo. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely dug into that. <laughs> well, I was bringing Wait, it down, what flavors man. do we all got? Devo, what you got? Uh, peanut butter chocolate oh, chip. That's what I got. Good. This one's phenomenal. What do you got, Lance? I've got banana chocolate chip. Ooh. What, you, what about you? I have apple cinnamon. Dude. This right. one's fucking fire. This is my first time trying the peanut butter. Yeah, so good. I'm going to eat this whole thing. What the fuck? We have to pass it around. That's cookie dough, baby. Whoa, that's, man. Wow. That's spot on. Well, wow. I wouldn't say spot on, spot on to like cookie dough, cookie dough. But, this but it's is, like as close as you can get while making it like healthy and 60 edible. fucking calories. All right. Bro. Announce, Holy announce your flavor spoon. and your score. Flavor and your score. Dude, this is a oh, dude. I love this one. This is like a nine four for me. What is that? What flavor? Apple cinnamon. OK. Devo. Fucking peanut butter, four, chocolate baby. chip. What are you going to go with? Good job, Ross. Nine. Wow. Wow, dude. Nice one. Uh, Nick. Peanut butter, chocolate chip for me is definitely going to be a nine four too. Okay, I got the banana chocolate chip. I'm gonna go eight seven. Nice. Yeah, bro, great scores scores all around. All right, pass that I'll one here. Swap, dude. You <laughs> ate half. The- <laughs> You're such a fat ass. Jesus, dude. bro. Look how much that he ate. <laughs> My God, <laughs> so good. we took two so bites and he's like, yeah. Mister, oh, I haven't had a cheat meal on my diet in forever. Hey, it's only sixty calories. He Thank just smacks. It's, <laughs> it's sixty calories for a tablespoon. Oh, well, you just had seventeen <laughs> tablespoons, bro. Cameron listens to one episode. Jesus Christ! I thought about tagging Cameron in that reel about your cheat meal. <laughs> oh, he would have dropped me. I was like, no, I can't do that. I have. 
peanut butter chocolate chip. I got banana. I got banana chocolate chip. Apple. Oh, oh wow, that's yeah. pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> this shit tastes so good. This is like banana bread. Is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, this is gas. I'm gonna go. Oh my god. For the peanut butter chocolate chip, I'm gonna go a nine three. Nice score. Yeah, that's dude, unreal. The unreal. banana chocolate chip that's good. does not taste like the traditional like chemical banana like, flavor. Like this is a true banana. Let's try this banana. I'm going banana chocolate chip. Um, I'm going fucking. I'm going nine three on this one, just Apple. beneath the peanut butter chocolate chip. Apple cinnamon. I'm gonna go eight nine. Nice. This is so good. Bro, stop eating it all. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's good. <laughs> you can eat as much as you want. It. Peanut butter chocolate chip, I'm going to give like a nine, nine one. Dude, you're going so deep <laughs> into this shit. <laughs> you can eat as much as you want, big guy. All right? Be you. Apple cinnamon. Don't, don't let him judge you. <laughs> I'm going to go eight six for the apple cinnamon. If I'm going to be fat, it's going to be nine. fat off this. I I did you try well. this one yet? Um, Peanut butter talk chip? Yeah. Yeah, I we did. should be all all around the table. No, I, I have haven't got more, I haven't got apple cinnamon. I have yet. two more flavors to try. I'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Let me try that one again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got yeah, that I one. I gotta, try, some of them. I gotta change my score. <laughs> <laughs> uh this is banana chocolate chip. And um that's fucking good. Fuck you, really I'm good. Yeah. Banana bread taste, right? I think I'm gonna go. I love banana. You've had it already. I am not. I think I'm gonna go I mean, nine two. No, give nice it. score. All right, where's this apple one? Right here. All right, hit me, bitch. There we go. Oh, look at the chunk. Holy fuck! Take. Look at this chunk. <laughs> It's not that big. Oh, no. That, that, that was, was good. Expect, that was good. I was uh, expecting something like that. It's hard. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> wow. Ooh, this is a fucking <laughs> nine on this one. <laughs> I got like the. Edge we need of a Zach. Just, just take so. him for two minutes of this review and make it a clip. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> this is really good. I got like the edge of a banana bread yeah. like, loaf. You know, yeah. <laughs> oh, he just digs into that shit. <laughs> it's good. I really good. What do you say? I have one more. This is I think. Nine, nine, you have nine, nine, nine eight easily. Nice. <laughs> nine eight. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that, if Zach did not sell this product the entire time, I don't know who will. That was the perfect fucking review. Zach just kept going and going and going. Holy fuck! And just they said it was like the perfect munchy snack, it's and fun. they weren't lying. Like it's fucking good. Yeah, I, my mouth. Is I want to keep watering. Looking, I know at me too. Bro, this would That's be wild. dangerous on prep. That would be yeah. dangerous. Yeah, you're gonna kill the whole. No, container. you can't have that around on prep. Mm-mm. No, Mm-mm. you can't have that no. around. You'll eat. You'll eat the whole thing every yep. time. Absolutely, dude. I'm caught up. <laughs> wow, man, that was phenomenal, dude. Flavor game, to, Ross, dude. Feel free to eat out of them the whole time. They told us to just keep okay. a spoon in there. Was, but hey, are we doing a giveaway for the other three? Yep. So we're gonna do a giveaway with a ghost and uh, the extra cookie dough. So we are going to be giving away four of the ghost energy drinks, um, rainbow flavor sour strip collab. Three yeah. separate people are going to receive one flavor, yeah, one, one of the dog. flavors of the flavor gang edible cookie dough, <laughs> diet cookie dough, low calories. Um, you guys get to pick your flavors. So whoever gets picked as the giveaway winners, the quicker the response, you get to pick your own flavor out of the three. We're going to send it to you. If you're local, we'll meet up. If you're not local, no worries. We'll send it to you as well. So rules to the giveaway are you must follow the flavor gang and D2 podcast and like this post. You must take this post and you must put, put it on your story and tag us in it. You also must comment three friends in the comments, but also you need to answer this question right now. What are your favorite top three cookie flavors uh, like grown up? Like grandma made cookies. What are your top three favorite flavors? Comment all those things below. You guys interact with each other, interact with us on the page. You guys have an opportunity to win some amazing fucking products. That's we, it. We love you. We love you. Code D2. At Flavor Gang. You went fucking off right there. Because I'm a Woo! marketing fucking genius. <laughs> I was let's like, get, let's uh-huh. get into what Let's go, boys. You didn't, like, take a breath. Let's that get, was good, eh? Yeah, let's, that was let's great. Let's get into what is everyone's three fa- like favorite cookies. You were good. Great <laughs> fucking that was, idea. <laughs> that was right where mine mind was going. Bro, was you're like, getting good at like, this. I am going to let them finish. Shit, <laughs> okay. That's tough. That's tough. You were right where can I was. Can we make, is it, like, got to be, like, standard? Like, like. It could be any flavor, like, anything. Can we, like, say, like. 
Zach's, Ooh. Zach's gonna be like this McDonald's chocolate chip, <laughs> McDonald's Snickerdoodle. Dude, I will McDo- say, I will say, <laughs> the Subway cookie, the Subway chocolate chip Ooh. cookies are on my list. Yeah, they're good. No. Sure. You took strawberry, one of my, yeah. strawberry cheesecake from. Uh, ah, dude, the, the fucking hold on, chocolate let's go, chip. Let's go one at a time. Classic. One at a time. Are you okay. want to start it off? I'll go the Subway chocolate chip. Okay. Double chocolate chip. Hold on, pause, pause, pause. I want to know the <laughs> ranking of your three. I want to know this the ranking. Wait, wait, that's in order. Yeah, so number one, right. or did you start at three? Uh, one. Okay. Double yeah. chocolate chip from one. Subway where? chocolate Subway. chip is your number one. Yes, cookie. dude. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> you will not change you my mind. You haven't experienced <laughs> the world. Uh, okay, maybe not. Okay, I remember, good point. I remember having Gideon's, so that's that. Yeah, has to be on there. Yeah, my buddy Tom's what wife, the? she's a baker, and she made mm-hmm. cookies for her own wedding, mm-hmm. and they like. Bro, they yeah. were like a day old they too. Do and I was just like, oh, fuck. Bro, they Whoa. do something to you, bro. They do something to you. Okay, you well, feel probably, loving them. That'll still be third. Subway chocolate chip. That'll okay, be third. okay, it's still, it's still on the list. list. Okay, it's still gonna be on the it's list. It's a great cookie. Wow. I'll give you that. We'll do uh, that. We'll do Gideon's. What was that one flavor? The cho- the macadamia nut one. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, that, one, that was yeah. awesome. That one. It was macadamia be, nut white chocolate. Yeah, that one's definitely gonna be number two. Um. And then I had a, I had a fucking, what's his name? Juan, Juan's cookies. Oh, oh yeah. my cookie dealer. Yeah, my cookie dealer. But oh, yeah, what, those I are good. Forgot, I forgot what flavor it was. I think Is I that when I got them? Dude, yeah. those were so good. It was yeah, stuffed yeah, yeah. in it. Uh, those were incredible. It was like brownies. Yeah, they were so I like, never ate my fuck. What? You didn't eat it? What, what flavor did I get? I don't know. Dog, they were unreal. Oh, dude, dude, maybe I did. And I'm just insane. forgetting. Because I, I remember you gave one. them to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. We, so you definitely good. over for a fight. I feel like when I we did. watched them. I think. Oh, that's the fight. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we warmed them up. Yeah, those were so good. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Put you them in the oven for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, bro. My, yeah. Oh, that's our next sponsorship. My cookie dealer. My cookie dealer. <laughs> Juan Morel. I don't, I don't know if I'll survive. <laughs> up, homie? I don't know if I'll survive Flavor Gang and a cookie. We're gonna, our <laughs> in a year, we're just fat as fuck just come here. Our insulin dosage. <laughs> just two years from now. <laughs> just fat fucks. We love bodybuilding. <laughs> we're just judging the shit out of bodybuilders. <laughs> we're like 30% body fat. They just keep oh, sending oh, us cookies. We're still trying protein snacks and yeah. shit, though. Yeah. <laughs> just judgmental as fuck. We're gonna have to up our insulin dosage quite a bit. I don't if, think we'll uh, ever become fat. I don't no. think this group will ever. No, we no. won't. I bet when we're all done with bodybuilding, it's gonna go straight to the like the cardio match Jansen style. Like, oh, for sure. I'm doing. I'm doing oh, athletic yeah, training yeah. when I'm done. I'm gonna be I wanna jogging. Do box I'm gonna keep training. Shit. I miss jogging sometimes. Do you really? really? Yeah. I miss uh, agility great. training. I, I miss for, agility training. I yeah. went for a walk the other day. And I was like, ah, I just want to get like a little fucking. Yeah. <laughs> like I miss juking. I miss running routes. I miss fucking doing drills like yeah. with foot drills. Like that's the shit I love. It's fun that's as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Box yeah. jumps. Bro, he downsized like crazy. He's still lost, 275. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we get another topic, <laughs> like, let's finish the cookies. Oh, finish shit. cookie yeah, topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Devo. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Top three cookie flavors. <laughs> fuck. Oh, I, I wasn't ready. I'm sorry. Um. Monster cookie. <laughs> Perfect. Like, okay. You know, like okay. you got the chocolate, yep. the peanut butter. Yep. Fire, fire. Um, uh, just a classic home-baked chocolate chip cookie. Okay, good. Fire. And then I I love like a strawberry cheesecake or some okay. like sort of okay. really? cookie. Really? I don't think I've ever had a strawberry cheesecake flavor okay. cookie. Like so uh, Ms. Milwaukee. Who, Ashley, is that her name? She yep. she made those for my show. Really? Yeah. Those she are made so cookies good. for your show? They were Dude. unreal. Yeah. I'm she made sorry. huge ones. <laughs> They're massive. Yeah. The subway ones, I feel like, are <laughs> are the one. Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever. <laughs> they're so good. Uh, she won. I bet they're she good. She won fun. like eighteen awards at yeah, State Fair con. for best a bacon. Baker. Really? Anyway, Lance, uh, three cookies back on track, three. boys. Now, yeah. uh, right top here. top three. I would go number three. I'm gonna go a Subway oatmeal raisin cookie because I fucking very good. love them. Um, no. Number two, stop picking Subway cookies, dude. You don't understand. Just, just unreal. flavors. Let's just unreal. go flavors, not like uh, where it's from. Okay. Okay. Lance, you can pick. Yeah, it. you're just gonna piss me I off. Keep pick. picking Subway me too. cookies. Me too. Um, <laughs> number two, uh, my mom makes a homemade uh, peanut butter chocolate chip monster cookie for Ooh, like the Christmas season. I'll bring nice. you guys. I'll bring us some to try, please. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna grab some venison jerky. My dad just yes. got some done as yes. well. He got some pepper jack cheese style one. Oh, oh hell dude. yeah! Unreal. I miss venison unreal. season. Start bringing some shit home, boys. I need you to kill some things. Start going, going, bro. Are you going this year or no? I'm gonna be probably hunting for two days before I'm back down here. You're not gonna go opening weekend, up, bro. That's what I'm gonna go. Yeah. 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 And then I and then I have a I show in Virginia. Need you, boys. I to took go off get that something. Friday. Did you? Yeah. See, I'm I'm be hunting for opening weekend, and then I'm go <laughs> flight to Virginia. Oh really? Yeah, for a show. Fuck. So I know I'm you gonna be hunting. Hey, if there's two days to get it, it's the yeah. two opening oh, days. Exactly. That's your best chance. 100. That's your best right. chance for sure. I'll, 
I want to go hunting one of dude, these. Dude, you want to come with? Yeah. It's so I crazy might. to me that you don't hunt. I might. It's crazy. We've got, I want dude, to. we have like 12 fucking stands. I went stands. last year, but mm-hmm. I didn't get anything, so. Yeah. Dude, it I wasn't have, fun. We have yeah, 44 acres up north. We have like 12 hunting stands. Yeah. Dude, that's so I want to go hunting more yeah. often. Dude, I'm telling you, when my when we put up our double wide, I want all of us to go up to Cribbits because I have so much. I have so many hunting stands. We could all go up and do a weekend and do it. Yeah, we've talked, be, about, yeah, it. We've talked about it. Yeah, we've talked about it. I love turkey. I love turkey <laughs> that hunting. Face. Just Zach would like turkey <laughs> hunting though. <laughs> yeah, he would. Because we close because we can go reap a turkey. <laughs> yeah. like. Dude, you're gonna literally be like Zach. You're gonna turn around and be like, I see one, and you're gonna see he's gone, and you're gonna just see him sprinting out there trying to tackle it. This fucker dude, would fall. Dude, when <laughs> I killed my buddies, that's what. So I was with my buddy it was my first turkey hunting and so um hunt and so we go out i hit it and it starts flapping and yeah. then it starts running and i start to raise the shock and my buddy goes nope i got it and just tackles it, <laughs> tackles it into these tall grass <laughs> is it ta- is it and stands up yeah with it in it with like holding its neck and it's like flailing around he like swings it snaps its neck and he goes good shot bud like, no way throws it on the ground i was like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, why'd you tack? Like, that's awesome. Just that's such awesome. a manly thing. guys like that like, are built different. Yeah, I was like, fuck, I'm not manly at all, dude. Like, I was, a, I was gonna blow its head off, dude. <laughs> one, one time I was hunting, that shotgun. And I then shot he a tackled deer. It. I shot a deer with my bow one time, and I waited in my stand. I'm like, fuck, it's getting dark out. Like, I gotta start tracking this fucker. So then I start tracking it before I like, going back and getting my dad. And I started tracking it too early, and I'm like, found the blood trail. I get up next to the deer. It's laying down. It's dying right there. The arrow would didn't go all the way through. Oh. So, like, it'll still die, okay? But I was young. So, I'm like, fuck, dude, 12, 13 years old when I'm doing this. I'm like, oh, my God, like, I can't let this thing suffer, you know? So And, I, dude, I'm I'm fucking from here to the camera away right now. And I'm, I'm just sitting in the snow. And this thing, like, heard me creep up, but it had, couldn't move or nothing. Yeah. So, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I got to take this arrow, and I got to fucking jam it into it. <laughs> So I fucking went over and I reached the arrow and I fucking jammed it into this deer. The deer stands the fuck up. I'm on top of the deer and I just get fucking launched. And then the thing and then the thing runs like eight feet and just dies. Yeah, Aww. but this thing got up so powerful that I was on top of it, and I just went. That's scary, only dude. dude. Only you. Dude, that's actually <laughs> terrifying. Have you dude, seen? But a- now that I thought of it, I'm like, it was a dumbass idea. What if I got stabbed by my own arrow, bro? Oh, yeah. Dog, you know? not oh. even that. Have you seen some Facebook photos every year of like some hunter mad. where like they approach the deer and you're supposed to come from behind yeah. and like tap it and check and yeah. be ready to fire? Oh yeah. But people will just like go grab it and then the deer will get up start. Uh-huh. and just start going uh-huh. to work with Holy their. Fuck. There's a photo of a guy in uh was it Beaver? Ah, what the fuck was this? I can't remember. Two years ago, that dude on Facebook, because my dad's to be, the dude was missing a chunk of his skull from oh, right here, yeah. down the side of his face to the back of yeah, his neck, because yeah. the thing took its horn and just carved it right yeah. out. Holy you shit! You know how yeah. strong and how crazy. sharp they those things are. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't think I would beat a deer with horns, but I think I could beat one without horns. Oh, like in a fight. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Those I'm not gonna do those dude, they're, they might just stabbed. start stomping the shit out of you. Dog. Yeah, those will fuck you up still, bro. They're they're it's a big they're, animal. Their hooves are pointy as a motherfucker. They're How big. Are they gonna hit me though. The, fucking, they'll jump up and pop you one. I guess. Like you, th- like they'll stand on their rear legs and they'll smack you with their fucking hooves. Dude, you guys, just I've seen a deer beat the fuck out of a dog before, dude. Ooh. Crazy shit. Did you guys what see the dog? Like a big dog. Like I'm talking like a seventy pound dog. Did yeah, you, see the videos? you can't Do fight. So. you see the videos of those uh, killer whales that they're calling like D1 or something yes, like that? Dude. They're like Keep ultra talking. smart uh, killer whales. And they found, they started recording them and they found out they like kill in teams. Yes. Yes. And so this like yes. seal jumped Ooh. on this like iceberg. Yes. And they were like jumping like the whales yep. to see the, once they saw the seal, yep. they swam around and in unison swam and kicked at the same yes. time. So wave washed the seal off the yeah. iceberg. Into the water on the Dude, other yeah. side, and they just fuck crazy. It up. Oh my they're god, they're like killing in teams. Isn't yeah. that insane? Here, there's one. They said they've never seen it. I want to build upon that. Do you want to restart the camera, please? Oh yeah. I want to build upon that because there's some other crazy shit about that, dude. Yeah, they're fucking nuts. They're like super smart whales. Yeah. Fuck it. Aren't orcas like another name for them is like shamus or something like that? Do you know? Have you heard of that? <laughs> Shale Shamu. from the movie. Oh, that might be a name of a whale. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think that's whale. the name. But of anyway, a okay, one, yeah. that same thing you're talking about. These things are becoming like really fucking smart. These these whales They're will genius. kill salmon like a fish in the in the sea, and it's so weird because the also orcas like see fishermen all the time. They see people all the time because they're very um, social creatures. But they the, they speculate that <laughs> good boy, at a boy, good boy. 
I they speculate that these there. whales have been seeing people wear hats. So these orcas will kill a salmon and they will wear a fucking salmon on their head and they'll just like ride just below the surface so the salmon just sits on their head as a fucking hat. A dead salmon. What? Yeah, dude. And they'll pass it off to I each other. I see that. It's crazy. I'll pull up the video right now as uh, I'm making this. But then there's also one where there was this one um, fishing boat that was like abusing the fuck out of these orcas. And like because like, it was in their area taking all the fish, all this crazy shit. And then the rest of the orcas in that pod like had a vendetta for all fishing boats, and they were capsizing yeah. fishing boats I, this I year. I was gonna say I saw yeah. that they're like starting to not sink like boats. they weren't hurting the people, but they were capsizing them. Yeah, like that's insane. Look at that that would be fun as fuck. You to could hunt. not take that in a fight. No, but that'd be fun as no. fuck. Oh, to yeah. Hunt. oh yeah, fuck that. that thing's that that's a huge. fucking that's altar there. That's a beaut pounds. though, dude. They are huge. They are fuck, dude, dude. That's a small one. I feel. Yeah, like that's I was about to say. I was about to say if you saw that hunting, would you shoot it? Yeah, I would not. If Why? I went, if I went specifically on an elk hunt, probably. But uh, if I, actually, if I only got, it depends. How many days do I have left, and how many tags do I have? Uh, one. All right, well, let's say you have one tag, and it's my last day. One tag. La- oh my no, God. one tag. Third day in, out of a what seven. Does it day matter? Hunt. He's gonna say yes. No, I don't think so because you got to think about how, if how much got, more time you have to have a. Big, if get, I've got four one. days left, for, I'm probably gonna wait on it. Me too. Me too. There's because, dude, one. you're spending so much on that. Tag. I agree. I agree. True. What last day? I would, I would take it. Last day for sure, because you don't want to leave the trip spending thousands of dollars not walking Cam, out with some. Cam Haynes is someone I would love to hang out with. Cam Haynes, why he's is he so the, familiar? He's the like number one elk hunter in the world. Is he the guy that does the show um, he, Meat Eater? I think so. I think that's him. Yeah, Maybe. Google guy. Yeah, yeah. Type but of he's like Joe Rogan's best friend. He's, yes, his book is great. I recommend okay, you okay. Read it. Um, but yeah, he's a. Uh, He's just like an ultra marathon runner. He's famous on Instagram. I'm surprised you guys don't know who he What's is. What's his name? Yeah. Cameron Haynes. He's a stud. But Name's I, familiar. He's the number one elk hunter and hunter in general, bow hunter. In oh, the, he's a bow the, hunter. Yeah. He Let's hunts go. I was bow. just going to ask before, are you doing that this year or no? I'm not going to time <laughs> bow hunting. I have my bow down here with me. Yeah. But, uh, this dude? Dude, you got to get into that so oh. we can go oh. do that, dude. Yeah, bow hunting is so fun, is it dude. This dude? Dog, it's, yeah, that's him. He's a stud, dude. Could you have a bow? No, I don't. Dog, you should. Evil, uh, you'd love it. You you'd would love fuck, it. You would fucking love that, dude. I know I would. And the weather yeah, is 10 times it. better. Cam Haynes is a stud. Oh, he's jacked. Yeah. He's dude, stud. he's got a lifting Fuck brand. He's like, shit. he's got to deal with Nike. Wow. Jacked as hell. Or Under Armour, I mean. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a fucking stud. I love that shirt. Yeah, Lift, run, shoot. I was gonna say Except yeah. run. Except, be, <laughs> except run. He goes, I love that shirt except one of the things on it. <laughs> So I love two thirds. It's just saying. He's a stud, dude. But that's the thing. If you're into fitness you and you're gotta, not just a lifter, you can you guys, make a brand. You guys gotta read his book. Steroids. Read his book. It's so fucking good. What's it about? Um, it's just about him. It's called. It's like keep hammering or hammering or something like that. And it's just he. He was a construction worker. He was a runner and he was a hunter and he got famous just for so being cool. so good at those so things. Cool. And he he kept his construction job even though he he was a multi millionaire. Holy That's shit. dope. And he would still go to work every day. At a boy. Probably just, just creates something. He just he, recently yeah. quit because Joe Rogan sat him down on his podcast and was like. So blew him up. He was like, dude. That's a humble man. You don't man. need to be doing this That's anymore. a humble man right, right and there. And he was bro. like, yeah, I guess you're kind of right. He's like, maybe. He probably I, just liked it, though. He did. Yeah. He liked to be. Yeah. He, he probably keeps him in humbled. shape. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's awesome, though, because it just reminds you like where you're from, man. Like, it reminds you of those roots. He's dope. He's Bro, this this cookie dough is so good. We keep coming back to it in the pod. I, <laughs> I each got, of us I just picked it up. It. Each of us just picked it up, man. I love it. So fucking good. That, that cinnamon, banana. that cinnamon yeah. apple, man. Dude, it's so Get good. your so hands good. on that, people. I think the banana one. I have to go back and say is my favorite. You want to know? Oh, that's my favorite. So good, I think too. you guys would absolutely love duck hunting, though. Like now, hear me out. I would duck, love the pheasant. There is a lot. Oh, pheasant hunting is a blast, yeah. but duck hunting is even more more fun. Like you have to get up early as a. As a motherfucker, yeah, yeah. You get out there, when, like, dude. I've I've slept in my boat before when I'm duck hunting. What? Like, like in my boat, I'll bring a sleeping bag and I'll sleep out there just so I can get a That's spot. So fun! That's swear to God, like it's awesome. Like, I'll go out the <laughs> night before, that. take my boat, 10 p.m. I'll sleep out there till 3 a.m. Swear to God, it's awesome. But there's so much action, and the ducks come super close to you. They'll land right in front of you, and it's like <laughs> it's constant Fucking action, up, yeah. dude. It's so much fun. Zach, I don't think you need to be doing that. But I tell you what, when when I say <laughs> <laughs> just hip shooting everything, bro, he would hip shoot shit. Ducks. I wouldn't feel safe <laughs> in the same boat in the same boat as you. 
just look over his barrel's <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's fine. I can use my own boat. <laughs> he draws his shotgun. It like the barrel scrapes the back of your head. What the fuck? <laughs> well, dude, I almost shot our boat one time. Oh, I was fucking. God. I was hunting. And I shot a duck, and then I was like, oh, fuck, there's more ducks about to uh, land in here. So I crouched down behind the blind. They're oh. about to land. So I pop up. The trigger guard of my shotgun hits the edge of my blind, and it fucking pushes my, the barrel of my gun down. And I pull the trigger, and I Holy shoot, shit. like, this far from the edge of the boat. It just smokes the water. Just oh. a big old pillar of water shoots just up. Killed some fish. It would have, oh, man, it would have been fucked, dude. Damn, that would have sucked. <laughs> a big-ass hole in my boat. Yeah. Oh. I wish I would have grown up with some hunting. Yeah, man, it's a good Me way too. to grow up. I don't. I didn't. I don't think I it's like I my didn't. favorite hobby, but it's a really cool one to have. And it's, yeah. it's if I will say this, like as we get older, I like I said, I, if I can turn it into like a friend gathering, I think I'd like it way more. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because be that's because dude, that's I, what like, makes it so fun. You know what I mean? Like imagine us going up there doing that for the afternoon, and then at night, all of us like coming back, playing like a card game or some shit like for that. For sure. For just sure. Relax and having a drink, yeah. smoke a J, some, some cribbage, bro. Bro. go fish, eat a good fucking meal, no, call it a night. You guys played euchre. I love Euchre. Yeah. We have four people. Dude, it's let's the best play it. Game. Let's play it. How do you play it? Oh, it's so fun. I don't even know how to explain it. It's hard to explain. You have to explain yeah. it just while yeah. playing. You would never understand it's what It's like we're you, have to vision, you have to catch on by seeing people. It's do so it. hard to explain. That's how I yeah. learn. Ooh, favorite card game? Cribbage. This? 100%. I'm a fucking dog Mine, at Cribbage. I will. I'll, Euchre. I will. Euchre? I'm I'm pretty confident. I'll put money on the table. I'll beat everyone. You. I'm gonna go bullshit. I don't it's know. It's my favorite play. game. Oh, okay. bullshit. Bullshit's my favorite game. Oh, I, <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> yeah, I, I do love that I know. game. Playing that up north with family's a fucking yeah, blast. Yeah, it's so yeah. fun. When you start to get the rhythm too, Ste- and yeah. you're like, no, that's fucking your. Own. What about you? What about you? What's your bullshit? Name? So, I don't know yeah, the it's fun name. To yell I don't know the name of it, but you the goal, like the objective of it, is two people have to put cards down, and whatever cards like better than that other card, then they take the card. Can you know? And then whoever has. Like runs out of cards, war. loses. Is that, is that war? war? Is that King war. of the Hill? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That was my favorite. Yeah, dude. I what's your favorite one. board game? Ooh. I'm a board game fanatic, bro. Oh, that's tough. Like, I like strategy. <sighs> like I'll say mine. I absolutely. I'm gonna be a fucking nerd here, man. I like Catan and Risk. Those are some long fucking games. Okay. I always liked playing Life, but I don't know. I love Life. It's a great game, dude. Yeah. Great game. Just kind of like chilling. You haven't played yeah. board games in a while, I feel like, right? No, I haven't played in a while. Yeah. I would love to. I'm not going to lie. Not super I'm going to go Classic Monopoly. Nice. That's, that's you can't Dude, go wrong I was that. thinking that same you thing. You cannot go wrong that's with that. That's what I was going to go, yeah. But Always if I can't take that. Game. Monopoly is so fun because they, they they have the best marketing son tactic. Of a bitch, and making the same game, so mad but at my 400 versions of it. I think yeah. I'll go Battleship then if you take that. Nice, oh, Battleship! Nice. I, was, I think really, I'll go for my second one, dude. The I game like that one. Monopoly should be called Life because that's what it feels yeah. like. Yeah, when it you does. keep landing on other people's fucking thing and they're like seven hundred bucks, you're yeah. like, yeah. Fuck, it's, a, it's a Tuesday. It seems like the <laughs> goddamn tax dude, system. That's what else could go wrong? <laughs> then you yeah. land. Oh, gonna go to jail. And then you Fuck. land on the next one. You look up and your mom's yeah. like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> bro, you get you got pissed at the people you're playing dude, with, especially if it's family, dude. Like that's that should be called life. Oh, hundred percent. It's more yeah. relatable than dude. The game of life is so chill. You're just driving yeah, along, true. and you're true. Like, you're pregnant. You have kids. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, nice. Oh, you I get go to, to one of the little mini yeah. guys in here. Oh, what's yeah, that one yeah. game with the uh, shoots and ladders? You guys ever played that one? Yeah, it's been That's a, a long one. time. What about Candyland? You guys remember? I that? love that. Love yeah, yeah. Candy. <laughs> of course you love Candyland. You fuck. I was going to say that, but he's I didn't just want scraping to. at the board, <laughs> 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 trying to get the candy. <laughs> oh man, I want it. <laughs> Dude, I used to rig that one playing with family. I'll be honest. Really? Why? Yeah, because so I would fun. I would f- like count out how many people were playing, and then I would find like because oh. you know if you landed on a character, you got to go to that spot of yes. Them. I would pick that Winter Wonderland guy because it was the yeah, furthest one. And I'd stuff it five deep, and all of a sudden, uh-huh. first round, I'd get it. I'd be like, oh, no way. I won. <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> and then I'd get there, and you're just like, you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> I won again. <laughs> And then your family just knows you're cheating because it's not a skill game. Oh, for game. sure, no. It's just a fucking chance game. I like stack that. Oh, oh my! Sorry, sorry was fun. Sorry, sorry was, was fun. Time. Sorry was a good time. Yeah. Did you guys have in high school the kid that's like really good at magic? Oh yeah. What no. the fuck? I tried to be him. I had, some furries. Furries. I had some like furries. the card, the cards. What? I had some furries. Oh no. Oh, we had furries too. <laughs> no, I mean, the I tail like, shit. Yeah. Dog, no, nah, we I, would. That doesn't survive in a small town. Oh, we made fun of him so much. Oh, dude, many. you won't, you won't make it in Chilton doing what that. What school did no. you go to? Franklin. Oh, really? How yeah, big was yeah. your graduating class? I think there was about four hundred. Oh, wow! Holy three ninety nine. Hundred for me. 
67. Holy <laughs> shit. What? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, we yeah. had 400. Jeez. Well, we're up the we're those northern, Dude, northern some, boys. There were some kids that northern walked boys. across that Dude. stage, and I was like, who the fuck is that? Yeah, I mean, wow. <laughs> Dude, I was just going to say, how do you know he's everybody? Been, he's, he's been going here. There's like a couple of them. Yeah, I'm like, how the fuck did you escape my eye? And then like, somehow, that person, who you were. somehow that person always knows yeah. who you are, though. Did yeah. you know yeah. majority of people in your grade, though? Yeah, but there I was everybody. I, even on graduation day, like I said, there was a couple of people that walked. I'm like, what the fuck? Wow, wow, wow. What the fuck? Dude, Dude, he, he didn't go here. <laughs> you knew every. Who was he? You knew the whole high school. Dude. I knew everybody. Yeah. I know yeah, 400 yeah. people. It's hard. Dude, yeah, I kind of liked that though. It was fun. You, would, I, you I would, had like, a good time with that. I would. I, would, I had so it. many ins with so many different people, bro. Dog, fuck yeah. that! I hated that. You shit. had a big school. No, I did. We, I, oh. we. I mean, in our entire high school, there's probably like 450, 500 kids. Yeah, and uh, my graduating yeah. class was a hundred. So, but it was fun. Like, I liked I was, having a big school because it kept you. You could just stay on. The, yeah, you could do your own. I get fucking that. a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If no one f- knew your shit, dog. If you True. farted at eight o'clock in our high school, it was public news by eight o five. <laughs> it was yeah. a public news. <laughs> yeah, everybody knew everything. Dude, do that. you guys? Do you guys remember when Snapchat first came out and it would like show everybody your top three friends when you would click on it? Like Yo, you could just shit see it. I hated that it. Dog. Ruined I hated careers. It. That, that ruined that careers. <laughs> in high school, dude, I, they people you get buried. so much they got it. They got it yeah. taken off. Yeah, yeah, dude, because people were like, "You're no. killing them." <laughs> Dude, people in relationships were like, fuck. They were rioting outside Snapchat headquarters. Bro, that shit was nuts. You see some guy. a bunch of fucking divorcees. (laughs) (laughs) You killed me. (laughs) Dude's just like got a gun outside the building. (laughs) Get out of (laughs) here. Where is he? (laughs) My wife left me. Dude, because that shit, you would just click on someone's like, and you know, there's all those relationships and you would see it and you'd be like. Oh, his girlfriend's oh, not shit. the top anymore. Yep, and you're like, yep. she's single now. And then you would slide. <laughs> you you would literally Dog. automatically had an in right there. Dog, that was fucking Dude, a you wild could just snoop era. on everybody. So toxic. Dude, Even I if hated. Didn't care, he I just hated. Could snoop. The one, the one part I hated about uh, Damn, such a small like school was, dude. Word got around so easy, so fast, dog. That's what I'm saying. I'm surprised dude. you liked it. Well, I like, I, I, I kinda, you like the small town vibe. I love the small town vibe. Yeah, yeah. And like that's Nick's always just, where my heart's gonna be. But like, yeah. bro, Nick's when it the came main to character, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> He's walking down the hallway, finger gunning everybody. Didn't yeah. have a bad time. Yo, <laughs> yo. But like, dude, whenever we would party, bro. And something remotely bad would happen. The Every, cops would be called. Like oh. our teachers would know the next day. Yeah. yeah. My mom was at was in my high school teaching. She would know the next. Oh, fu- really? My dad would come to school, pick me up in the fucking squad car. He's like, we need to talk. I'm like, fuck me, oh, dude. That's such a small town, bro. One time I got, <laughs> dude. One time before school, my dad's like, you're not driving to school today, and I'm like, why not? He's like, we're gonna go somewhere. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so we get in his truck, and my dad had it off that day. So I'm like, oh, we're not going anywhere bad. Show up at the sheriff's department. And I'm like, fuck. And he's like, you're going to go in. You're going to talk to the chief. And I'm like, about what? He's like, you'll find out. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, what the fuck? It's from a party from like two weeks prior and shit, bro. And he's like, dude, I got bitched at. Like, I thought I was going to start crying. This guy fucking yelled at me, man. And it wasn't even in the interrogation room. Damn. This was in his regular office, so there's no (laughs) cameras. And he was swearing my I was pretty sure I was getting fucking spit on, dude. And he was like, Jesus you know Christ. how fucking hard it was for me to see your name come across this file, and your dad's my best fucking friend. And I'm like, I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry. <laughs> I walked out of there shaking. And my dad oh, looks man. at me, he's like, you ready? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you reply, I'm just going to school. Dude, it was so bad. It was so bad. It's a tough way to start the day. And I'm like, don't and talk dog, to me like that. My parents just laughed if they, they dude, I got, I never got shit from my parents. I had two sisters, oh. so like anything I did was just like fine. I was the you first were? child, so like. Do you just have your sister, right? I have two sisters, That's younger. Right, yeah, yeah. So I was the first child. I got away with everything. Like, really? And yeah. I had, a cu- yeah. I had a cush time. Yeah, See, I two girls. So yeah, 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 I was. Yeah. If you have two sisters, like, yeah. He's not raping anybody. He's not doing drugs. <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> Just let him run. No, yeah, yeah, good. yeah. Seriously, you know, that's like, <laughs> focus on them so they don't get abducted or killed or you know Dude. pregnant at sixteen yeah. or you know girls like. Yeah, a lot of things can go wrong. Dude, in a small Scary. town. Dude, in Chilton. Dude, that it sounds terrible to say, but it, there was nothing funnier than just watching a kid that just like sucked, and he'd be like, you'd be mid senior year, and then he'd disappear, and you'd be like, where are you going? And they'd be like, oh, he's a dad now, and I'd be like, yep. yeah, fuck, uh, sounds yeah. about right. Uh, yeah. Oh my about god, right. you want to know it's kind of sad though. There's some of those guys in my graduating class that like they went to the military and then they got like dishonorably discharged. Oh shit. Uh, oh, dude, there's probably like six guys in my class that went to the Marines. Bombs, I know. Dude. I'm like, you <laughs> fuck bro. And I just, I thought, I think to myself now and like, 
They, what, what are they still doing in my hometown? Going out drinking, sharing their stories from basic training four fucking years ago, yeah. five years ago. I'm like, you're such a weak human, bro. Like, shut the <laughs> fuck up. How do you get? Is it? I was just to gonna ask. Discharged? Yeah, I was just gonna ask that. No, it's not. I mean, like, you have to really fuck up. Really means you have to some... fuck up big yeah. time. Yeah. How or or you like, or yeah. you can't pass, right? Like you can't pass. No, that would be an honorable discharge, but like. Either way, it's just like, come on. Yeah, what yeah. do you so do easy. to get dishonorably discharged? Like, do you dishonorably, get... you'd have to like fuck, do something bad, really? bad, bad, like, like bring paraphernalia, bad, maybe. Like, Would that be one? Like rape someone. Really? Yeah. So like, if you got in the fights and shit, yeah. or fighting, yeah, these guys got in fights, like, yeah. yeah. And then there was another guy that fucking. Um, it's got to be bad. It's got to have like the police involved. This guy went through like, basic, like, and then he he kept getting fucking DUIs after basic. Like as he was on base, still at, on probably, base or something, bro. They'll still argue for an honorable discharge. Oh, really? Because dishonorable goes on your record, and anytime someone looks your name up for a yeah, job, it'll yeah. flag you as wow. dishonorably discharged. That's fucked. So you won't get a job. And that just like, goes to show you thing. can't take no direction. Nothing. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Fuck that. They make they make their petty pussies. They make sure that <laughs> those people. They make pussies. sure people know. But yeah, damn, they, dude. I mean. Anybody get this? Did anybody? Peak, did you know? anybody? Yeah, that's true. People peak, and you don't. You see, you kind of keep going by. Yeah. You just keep like, oh, there did they anybody go. <laughs> get dishonorably discharged in your unit or your um, graduating class of no. the military? No? no. Yeah. I mean, maybe along the way, but that was just because they either broke their leg or did something crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Or just quit, and then they like, let them leave. Yeah, true. Because they'd rather just not have you, so then they just discharge you. Because you're holding everybody but, back at that point. You know? Yeah. They Damn. try to get you to quit. They'll just be screaming at you. Yeah, they'll be, like, yeah. Yeah. They'll oh, be yeah. like, "Raise your hand if you want out," and people will be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Me." It's like, "Get the fuck out of What's here!" What's the hardest thing you Back did? Bus, not just in basic, but in your entire training for military. The ranger, hardest thing you did? Ranger school. Ranger school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what, what, what in ranger school? Like, what was probably, all in tan- even though it's hard as fuck. I want to like, for, know what you went through for for six days. We didn't sleep. That's Holy insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're crazy. Night, night one, we were out with what? holding Holy our bags God. over our head. Wow. Holding our bags over our head for night one from like 8 p.m. till 8 a.m. the next morning. No. Through the night. No. And then that next morning, we had to go for like a, I think it was like an eight mile run. Are you kidding? And then we had to do a obstacle course after the run and then do the eight mile run back. Are you kidding? Yeah, dude. It was fucking nuts. I thought, oh, God, my God. God. Dude, shit. Fuck that. Suck. <laughs> There's never been a time that I wanted to like just be like, fuck That's... this all. But like you're just sitting there. You're like, I chose to no. be here. I chose yeah. to be here. Yeah. Chose to be here. Yeah. And like, you have no other option. Dude, yeah. our land navigation course was like miles and miles wow. long. And you have six hours to get all your points. Yeah. And it starts at like 2 a.m. Now you're doing checkpoints, getting to certain terrain no, you're, areas you have, or what? You just have uh, plot points plotted like numbers and then <laughs> you're you, holding a spoon yeah <laughs> you get your like you know you get your uh your your numbers you plot them on a map and then you're like okay so this point is here i'm relatively here i gotta get to here because uh. then i gotta get the number off the sign because there's signs just throughout the woods yep but they're only on ge- you know geographical pointed like locations so like you're like, okay, whew, here we go. And yep. then you just take off into the dark. Now, <laughs> like, at this time, run. would you have, would you, you'd just have, using a compass. I assume you'd have all your gear, you'd have nods on too? No. No nods? No, we didn't get nods for land. Land navs, no, no help. It's no Even lights, no night? nothing. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Holy Dude, shit. it's nuts. Wow. You get to, you get to use a red light, but you have to be knelt on the ground and you have to be not moving. And then you have to turn it off and they would have like, random people like watching like really you know like uh, instructors watching throughout the woods yep yep it but was, you, you have no idea where they are because it's dark as fuck yeah so, wow. you, so you just hear rustling you don't know if it's another like person and you know like trying to find points you don't know if it's a whatever so dude that night i think my because i had a watch that had a um step counter yeah uh, and i think i ran like Thirty-eight thousand steps that night. No, <laughs> you know that's the equivalent shit. to like a marathon. I'm pretty sure. Actually. Yeah. yeah, holy. Fuck. I think a marathon is like my la- my run. Steps. Oh wow. My run. Yeah. Uh, my last point. I was like, okay, because you have only six hours. I was at like five hours and thirty or twenty-eight minutes, and I was like, I have to make it back or I get disqualified and dropped. Fuck. And I I plot my point and where I am and see where like I had to get to, and I was like, it's four miles. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had took off running. <laughs> Through hills and trees, like it was on, not on trails. No way, yeah, dude! I made it back. It fucking sucked, bro. That's I remember fun. like getting halfway, being like, 
I'm done. I don't care if I like just send me home. But yeah. I'm fucking done. And then I get like 10 more steps. I'm like, no, you got to go. <laughs> oh my God. And I just keep running because I was so mad that night. Bro, like, that's crazy. My heels were bleeding through my boots. Like, wow. Yeah. It was my whole that's heel awesome, was though. gone. Like, Good for you, man. Dude. Yeah. That's fucking. Ranger how long, school, how long was Ranger school? 30 days, 60 days. Holy fuck. Fuck. Holy fuck. I was about to say, 30 days seems short. 60. Yeah. Two Damn. Whole, but bars. there's three different phases. It's, uh, it's, I think it's more like 45. It's, yeah, 45 days. 45 to 60, depending if you get recycled. Okay. But uh, um, there's three phases. There's um, the Darby phase, which uh-huh. is where they just try to break you. And that's, yeah. that's like the toughest one. Then there's mountain phase, which you're in the mountains in Florida. So cool. And that one's like oh, that. That one's less about breaking you and more about like starting to instill survival, leadership, and like survival mm, and nice. like all that kind of. Because it's just a leadership school. Yeah, yeah. They're just trying to break you and yep. to like build you back up. And yeah. then Florida phase is the last one, and you're in the swamps, wow. and you're just running missions oh. for like two straight weeks. And so then, cool. Then you graduate, and then you're done. So cool. But as long as you don't f- fucking fail the leadership portion when you're up, because they'll give you a mission, they'll make you the leader, and then you're now in charge of everybody. And if you fail the mission, then you're disqualified. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You went through all three phases, right? Yeah. You went, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, dude, that's gross. so cool. It's fucking. How gross. was the How was the swamp phase or the Florida? I was gonna ask about nasty. that. Ew. Yeah, that yeah. one. Sounds Did you hilarious. see the gators? No. Really? Oh my God. Dude, wow. What a, do you do if you see There's a part. Gator. There's a part of that phase though where uh, <laughs> panic. Where if you are airborne qualified, you got to jump in. Yeah. And if you weren't, you had to walk in, which was like 12 miles. And I didn't, in Wisconsin, they don't have airborne units. Really? So no one's airborne qualified from yeah. Wisconsin, which sucks. So I had to fucking walk in and just you just see them all parachuting in. You're like, oh, must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> just skip the 12 mile walk in. Wow, yeah. dude, that's crazy. Yeah, but dude, respect, man. I've always always I had wish, a high amount of respect for those guys doing that shit. Yeah, dude. The that's, one thing I wish we had in Wisconsin was airborne. Yeah, I wanted to jump out of planes when I was younger. Yeah. so bad. Dude. I don't know why. It was the most intriguing part of the army. Yeah. Yep. Was all the halo jumpers yep. and like the airborne guys. My dad I thought my, it was so cool. You get to fall yeah. out of the sky onto the enemy. My dad wanted to do that when he went to uh when he was he in, um enlisted in the Marines and then but his best friend that was a year older than him um was uh he, he was in the involved in the Gulf War. Um he was a Marine. He fucking his parachute failed. <laughs> Splat. Yeah. Fuck. Fucking died. No. Way. Yeah, so my dad is like <laughs> Holy shit! So then, my dad, my dad's like, my dad's like, Damn. well, Holy I'm gonna still go in the Marines, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something else. Goes in the Marines and he fucking <laughs> yeah, parachute, <laughs> parachute failed to open, dude. Dog, imagine, crazy. imagine train like doing the shit that he just mm-hmm. talked about to train all that. It and happens, then, and then you finally are like, I'm gonna do something for my country, and you jump yeah. out and do it. You just yeah, yeah. crazy. Imagine parachute. going yeah. to that like dude's like family's home and they're just like, how did he go? Bro, people die all the and time. Just Apparently. like his parachute didn't work. Open. I fell into a Facebook video the other day of a dude what? who had a parachute failure and survived. What? Yeah, he's oh. all, he's, what? He's like paralyzed. Not that. Yeah, but like he's not like as bad as I thought he would wow. be. You would I think. think I yeah, he's talking. He's splattered. like he was like recalling the the day, and he was just like, and then parachute one didn't go, and we started going into a tumble, and then like parachute two disconnected and got wrapped up in the other parachute and then he said he just hit and he doesn't remember anything until he was like in the hospital wow dude that's great yeah quick question um (laughs) yes i hope i hope this isn't bad (laughs) (laughs) okay so say we're all in this scenario right like we're falling out of the plane you're pulling the plug and it's it's not working yep now do you in a scenario like that do you try to go head on so you just end it or are well, you no, taking? You're, you're not. You are you yourself. taking the risk of like falling to your side and then being like paralyzed? Oh, dude, I neck. Don't know. Neck. I would. Because you're not. I'm telling you right now. It don't matter how you land. You neck. ain't walking. Are we talking quadriplegic or just paraplegic? Like, like two legs gone. <sighs> I don't know. I'm going man. neck. Just yep. kill me. Yeah. I'd rather just not have to deal. But with I'm the saying, in that moment, even. do you think you'd be able to like just turn like, your head to the ground, it, knowing that that's gonna happen? I can do wheelchair bodybuilding. I can do wheelchair bodybuilding. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Fuck, man. Dude, think about how you used to be. He had so think much about potential. how fast <laughs> you're falling from the sky. Like either way, you'd think you'd just like splat. That's crazy. I don't know how he didn't. But that's what I I'm saying. I think his parachute slowed him down, like Somehow. the flapping, the wind of resistance. Yeah, yeah, just enough that it just. 
shattered. Maybe he everything. got caught up in the canopy oh. too. His jaw like sna- shattered, like because wow. ev- everything just hit and it just. Dude, that's pretty yeah. nuts, man. <sighs> neck. Yeah, I'm going neck. Yeah, I'm landing going straight neck. on my neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was swan dive that bitch. In that moment, though. I'm gonna like shed it's a tear. I'm Superman, <laughs> bro. It'd be so. He just sticks into the ground. <laughs> you just see him. His, like, <laughs> his neck's just up in the air. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he survived. Oh no! Hey, look at the camera, buddy. Camera oh. buddy. He gets up. He's like stuck in that position. He's just like. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He's <laughs> Cass and he's like, "Sit down, sweetheart." God damn it! He's knocking fly. shit over in the kitchen. <laughs> in the oh cast. man! <laughs> She's like, "I still love you." He's like, "I wish I would have earned it." <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried to escape. <laughs> I tried to escape this life. <laughs> oh man! He's just like, "Look at me." <laughs> That's geeked, bro. Ah oh, man, that Diva, do you have isn't any... that from Batman when he says that? What isn't that in the interrogation room? He says that to the Joker or something. Like, where is it? Oh, he I says, "Where know. is she?" No, I'm no. Looking. When he, you're talking about when he's like, "Oh no, that's driving. when the Joker says, hey, look at me." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Dude, exactly what that's yeah. from. Yeah. Oh, such I don't a know. Good movie. I the trilogy. Just, at that point, I feel like there's no saving. You're, 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 done. Just, yeah. you're done. I have a question for everybody. This is definitely off topic, but it goes to what we talked about last podcast. Okay. This motherfucker McDonald's. You can't pick McDonald's, okay? okay? But if you had one fast food restaurant to eat for the the rest of your fucking life, what would it be? Do didn't not we, say McDonald's. Didn't we I do get, this? I hate you, I, I thought we did. Probably I feel like we did this. Fusion poke. Really? Didn't we do this? Fusion. No, it's not fast food. Fast food. Come on. I thought we did this. Mm. Subway. Like fast food, traditional would you, fast food. Would you consider, consider Subway fast food? No. Okay. Let's not do Subway fast food. I mean, even though, like, for, I would, just for this so many, context, no. There's so many sandwiches I could get. Yeah, true. Just for this context, no. Okay. Yeah, the cheese steaks. What would you... Okay, We. I mean, we got Hardee's, <laughs> Wendy's, Chick-fil-A. We got uh, Taco Bell. Portillo's? Portillo's, yes. That's fast food. Raisin okay. Canes? Raisin Canes, yes. You raisin canes, yes. You love Raisin Canes? You do. Where the fuck did you get Raisin um, Canes again? <laughs> Where did you get <laughs> Where did you get raisin canes? Uh it was like on that Illinois border or whatever. Yeah, they was. have one, yeah. yeah. God damn, they won your heart. Dude, they did. Dude, you have you shut up better? About them. Wait, you think it's better than Chick-fil-A, bro? <laughs> you think it's better than Chick-fil-A? Dude, you're he's, a, sit, he's yeah. sitting over here going, "We're going to find a Saturday and we're going to go." <laughs> Dude, I'm sitting here like, "All right, you they better be good then." <laughs> Dude, they're cuz I'm going to fuck up and go one time. And, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like he's he lied, <laughs> dude. Wait, wait, wait. I've never had it, so is it better than he's Chick Fil A? You have <laughs> heard it's he, so good. He name drops them every time we talk. Dude, about no, it. I know, I remember. I you know get that. you get the full basket order. You get their you get a uh, a two piece chicken tender. Like you get two like actual or no, it's like a four piece chicken tender. You get like biscuits, like gravy, barbecue oh, sauce. It's like an upgraded. It KFC. gives you yeah wow. mac mac and cheese. Oh my god! I think I'm gonna go fucking uh, Sonic. For mine, because Sonic, oh, you have an, the choice. array of everything. Yeah, you have you have burgers, hot dogs, fucking I don't, really? sandwiches. I can't, I've never Sonic, had, you have breakfast. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never, never been had to a good, Sonic. I've, I've had never a never had a good Sonic. Really, never. See, I've, I, I, I the only good Sonic I've had. You? No, the dogs. only good Sonic I've, I've had is in Florida. Oh, okay. The only ever I've had Sonic in the, up here in the Midwest. Never good. Florida, amazing. They treat it like so. Shit that's the one here. you're picking. Yeah, though. the Florida Sonic, absolutely. Okay, damn. Got so many good options. I'm gonna say Dairy Queen. Dog, dude, why Good are you call? Pick the shittiest? I was, no. no, I was gonna go DQ. No, I mean, disgusting. Uh, dog, close. inch, dude. Oh, that's so that's when I got. You go to the fat, show. I was fat. gonna say either Dairy yeah. Queen or Culver's. Culver's. Culver's, is, a great Culver's pick. is just so heavy. Yeah, I true. It, so if dude. I, that's I all shit I my brain off from Culver's, dude. dude. That's kind of how I eat. feel about Chick Fil A. Yeah, I'll be honest. No. I'm a, I'll, I I'll be know. honest. I, I, I my stomach just the hurts. one right up by me in Brookfield. I don't know why I hate ev- it? Yeah. I love Chick Fil A. Yeah, I, I hate that it happens. You're telling me that you shit it. your it brains out with Chick Fil A, yeah. and you do don't. Ma- I don't do it with McDonald's, but I, with, Chick- with Chick Fil A, it just kills me. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm actually. I hate I'm, it I'll I be honest. Chick Fil A. I'm on the same boat as him lately. It's been fucking my stomach. I haven't had McDonald's in like five years, and every time I drive by one, I just think of you, and I'm like, No, this is what happened. I have McDonald's. I, I, I'm like you. <laughs> you need to get back on it. Like no, you it's don't. A no, you don't. No, <laughs> That's you don't. So geek. 
Bro, I <laughs> I would to order you to get back on. I need to get back no. on. You need to get back. He's a fucking bodybuilding coach. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get back on. Get back on it. You know, it's like, like it's a drug. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. been hitting really good, dude. Lately. You need the calories, <laughs> dude. That's to crazy. On. <laughs> I had I went to Illinois one night. One time it was like one a.m. and I went to go see Rally after work and. The only thing open is McDonald's. And I call, he called me at 1 a.m. and I was at McDonald's and it was like meant to be. He was so fucking happy. And I, I reviewed, like tried it right in front of him. Dude, it was the worst I was thing I've ever seen. What are you ordering? What are you ordering? I would have been so mad that I didn't he called the... at that moment of weakness. <laughs> Bro, yeah. I know. I, I felt so bad. I don't know. How I was you like, answered. where are you, dude? I was I like, have answered. <laughs> I was like you and I literally hadn't had it in fucking I'd've, years, bro. I'd have been like, Oh, you just think you could call on getting McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. like, dude, where are you, dude? And he's like, McDonald's? I'm like, oh, get, <laughs> you, oh, my God. You get like a FaceTime ring from Nick as you're like grabbing the bag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 think you could catch me? Dude, the <laughs> only thing I could tolerate was like half of the Big, big Mac. Uh, uh, everything oh, else dude. was shit. Really? I've never had a Big yeah. Mac. Dude, no, there's nothing special about it. Don't yeah. listen to him. Don't yeah. listen to him. God damn, you? bro, you're, dude. Everybody, if you look in the comments, everybody hated your McDonald's choice. I know, but it's just like, you, guys, no, it's so, it's McDonald's. No, everyone loves it. It's McDonald's. so bad, dude. Comment below if you like McDonald's. Dude, dude, food. McDonald's Sprite though. Or no, Not what was the other uh, soda? Quarter pounders with cheese. I, I, bro, it's I this remember, big, bro. It's this fucking the hell big. Are you talking about? It's that big. Fuck How do you like that? I, that's all I remember from McDonald's is like how crispy the soda is. Oh yeah, me God. too. It's the like only crispy thing. as hell. Yeah, yeah, it's like extra carbonated. Yeah. Those are lame. They put some extra pump so in that lame. shit. You're lame. <laughs> for only liking McDonald's, asshole. Dude, think about it. When you're going through the I am thinking about it, and I'm getting and shits thinking about it. You get that bag. What's, what's you, your restaurant? You Where you are you going? Sonic. Bag. You said Sonic. Yeah. That's right. You get that brown bag with the yellow. Bro, bag. stop <laughs> it. You are so emotionally invested <laughs> that you even <laughs> fall in love with the bags. Yo, it's a brown paper bag bag you can't love it that much that you enjoy the nostalgia <laughs> of a brown paper bag the grease on the it's, bottom of it is no <laughs> you are such a fat kid <laughs> bro your clients right now are literally getting mcdonald's as they're listening to this they're like oh Zach. Jaden finishes her 1200 oh. calories of cardio and she goes oh he's eating mcdonald's huh it must mean i can He's told me to up my cardio. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's I'm so making her funny. update as I'm eating McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we're going to drop these calories. That's <laughs> funny. Just taking a huge bite. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zach, oh, you said Dairy Queen. What's your favorite thing to get at Dairy Queen? Oh, I don't know. It's a blizzard. The chicken me. tender basket by a mile. Oh, yeah. facts. By with, a the mile. Toast? with the toast? Yeah, yeah. dog. Yeah. Always chicken tender Extra basket. Yep. Dude, when I worked Ranch there barbecue, when I was 16, Their barbecue sauce. Uh, unreal. You know what's know. really sad though? <laughs> you know that gravy? Yeah. You know I how that gravy? I don't like gravy. What about it? I Dude, hate gravy. It's uh, yeah, their gravy. Too. It's bomb, but it's disgusting. Don't tell me what, what, what. No, Dude, don't. You literally I take a hot, so good. a hot bowl of water and you dump like a bag of this like packet sauce and you stir it for a while. Oh, it that's what gravy's big. made. Oh, in general? Oh, shit. Pretty, okay. Like like packet gravy, yeah. I'm not trying oh. to make my Yeah, it's gravy. just packet gravy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was special I, I like thought, gravy. I thought you were going to say like the grease from the chicken nuggets they put into a mix and then like, put it with a wall. I thought you were going to say it's Yeah, you're going to take the bottom yeah. of the burger tray and you're going to stick it in a pile of juice. Yeah. <laughs> and then dump it on the fatties fries. Bro, you know what my dad used to do when we would camp? We would uh, make our bacon in our fucking cast iron skillet in the morning. You leave the grease on it. And he would make the eggs in that quarter inch, yeah. half inch of grease. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, yeah. when I tell you it bacon, I mean, it was good. But dude, when I'm telling you, that generation dog, was built different. They were like, just load it up. Oh yeah, dude. Just, my dad grew up with uh, was it butter pickle sandwiches? Yeah, like I'm talking not not buttered pickles. Like I'm talking about like butter on a um, on bread, dude, and then pickles. Bob, and butter on the other one. Bob will do that. Fire. Yeah, Bob will take yeah. a pickle and he'll wrap the bread in it like together like what a hot dog. Fuck? And he'll eat it like that. See, my dad won't do that shit anymore. But like that's what he grew up what? on. No, nah, dude, he does, he does salt and pepper on it. Oh, and He wraps lard. it in a piece of bread. Lard, lard and jelly sandwiches because my dad grew up on a farm too. Bob, bro, they would spam. take lard from their fucking pigs and their goddamn cows after they'd be all butchered, and the lard would be like uh like melted down to a point where everything's killed from it, you know, and it would be their butter, and yeah. they would put lard. lard yeah. Yep. On a fucking like they would fry stuff in it, they put it on bread, no, and then they would good. put jelly on it because they couldn't afford peanut butter, dude. Dog, crazy I'm shit. Good. That's I'm an good. older generation that every penny was saved. Yes, absolutely. Like if you could not buy a can of spray yeah. or oil, you were like, we're just gonna and keep using. I'm this. so glad that I grew up like my parents with very humble beginnings. Dog, I would go to my wrong. grandparents. He's looking up lard. I'm looking up what lard looks like because I feel like it just looks like it's poop. it's fat. It's just fat, dog. Yeah, it's fat. Lard. 
This is it. <laughs> that's it, dog. It looks yeah. just like coconut oil, yeah. 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 Gross. So that's that's just I that. It was like some brown, like. No. Oh, really? No, yeah. but dude, look at that. Like, look it's at that in the jar, nasty. bottom left, it's bottom just left. Fat. Right no, here. down. It's just pe- fat yep. is such a gross thing. This looks good. Look, that's on. That's that's that, pure saturated fat right God there. Damn it, Zach! You <laughs> said that looks good. He opens the jar, takes a spoon. He goes, it's not that bad. But I'm kind of getting hungry. Should we try these bars? Oh, let's do it. I totally forgot about those bars. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, isn't that disgusting? The cookie dough took over me. Hey, have you been there? Valentine? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. They're pretty good, eh? Yeah. Okay. Don't hey, so one of these is a different flavor. I think it's that one right there, that uh, pretzel one. So they only had three of the peanut butters. So whoever can get that one. Yeah, you try the pretzel. I've one. had that one already, so that, and that one's good, I thought. Okay, um, so you guys, we have these level one high-quality protein bars by First Form. These are gluten-free. These are 20 grams of protein. Peanut butter lover protein bars. Let's get into it. Macros are as follows for you people. 260 calories per bar, 13 grams of fat, 19 grams of carbohydrates, 20 grams of protein, only 4 grams of sugar. Boys, what are your thoughts? Um, It's all right. That's all right. Okay. Uh, you have the peanut butter lover flavor. Lance has the... What flavor is yours? I love peanut butter, too. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Chocolate peanut butter Let's pretzel. Ooh. That one sounds good. See, I would, I would I cut that one up, and I would put that in my cre- my ice cream, my creamy ice cream, Not and it would mix in. Damn, this one's fire. Really? What's wrong with it? No bite. <laughs> what do you mean? Give us some feedback. I'm taking my time. Hold on. Um, this one's good. I like this one. This one's uh, eight eight for me. Really? Mm. Very good peanut butter flavor. <laughs> There's something off for it for me. I think it's good, but yep. not like great. This is gonna be uh. It's the, it's the aftertaste. Yeah, it's the aftertaste. Me too. Yep. Six yep. eight. Six eight. That's not bad. I mean, no, it's for not a bad. pretzel within it. I get it. It's, it's like rock. Um, oh, it is. That's hard. Oh, it was from the back. This one's good as What's fuck. This? What is this? Peanut butter lover. It's got butter like lover. a salty taste to it. Devo, it's I'm definitely going, the aftertaste. So I'm gonna be. Oh, you go first. I'm gonna go seven two. Yeah, I was gonna go uh, seven seven actually. There's a weird aftertaste. Oh. No. No. Mm-mm. I like it. What? I still eat really? it. This is rock hard. Yeah. I like this. Rock hard, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why it'd be good in ice cream. Yeah, but. I had the ones when they were more fresh, and it was a lot better. For, you don't like yeah. this one? Five seven. What the fuck? Yeah, an exit right there. Yeah, no, bro. No, leave. You no, <laughs> no. I'm a dog at these. These You're, ones are it's good. The aftertaste is throwing you off, isn't it? It's terrible. There's not even like a bad. <laughs> that right. does not taste like fucking peanut butter at the end. What do you mean? There's literally peanut butter like gushing. You've been mouth watering since we've been talking about McDonald's. <laughs> you eat your goddamn candy. Yeah, you right also there. like McDonald's, so you <laughs> your your taste buds have zero opinion here. Everyone loves McDonald's. Sorry, but even though you like Jackson, it, I like. No, they don't. Jackson is sensitive high. <laughs> yeah, he is. all the flavors are just hitting him. Right? He's 100. <laughs> He hasn't broke to McDonald's in like two months. Every time Everything he, tastes good to him every right time now. Every time he goes, ooh. <laughs> he just... Ooh. <laughs> just ooh. ooh. I mean, yeah. Damn, not bad. I'm giving this a 7-7. Seven, seven. So, I mean, we've had way worse, yeah, but not my favorite. Yeah, I went 6-8. Yeah. Be better. <laughs> no, you guys are doing just fine. Not the worst, not the best. Zach loves it. I like it. Bro, did you guys know there was going to be a Forrest... There was going to be a Forrest Gump 2 movie? No yeah. way. Mm-hmm. The I'm hell so more. Glad, I'm so glad they didn't do that. Do you guys want to hear do? the plot of it? It's yeah. fucked up. It's crazy. Is it old? Yeah. Like really old? <laughs> I don't know. I, well, I he heard already it. would have been though, right? Because at the end of number one, he's does his kid have the same problems? Mm, something like that. Oh Jesus! No way, dude. The kid came out normal. Remember? Dude, is he normal? Yeah, because he asked that and started crying. <laughs> is he like me? That's the um, yeah. That was the emotional scene, dude. Yeah. That's dude, the one that where you're bitch like, made him run. There's like Coco Pebbles. In she fucking sucks. Yeah, she gotta be one of the worst who? female characters in the history of a movie. Yeah. she was who? the villain. Jenny, Jenny, she was terrible. Fucking, Jenny. she sucked. was just clapping. She was just getting clapped. Dude, she was doing hard drugs. Ooh. Yeah, but she was just running train. Oh, dude. just getting body hey, count dude, like, ran up. Body count. All right, here we go. And this is the plot. Her like a queen. Like, Boys, this, this is the plot for <laughs> what was going to be Forrest Gump too. Um, Roth said in the sequel, Gump helps his son deal with his HIV diagnosis. Oh, no. Following. Okay. Spoiler, oh, because right? she had it. Following right. yeah. his death. Oh, God damn. And being bullied at school. Reports. Uh, in addition, Gump finds love again by falling in love with a Native American woman while working <laughs> as a bingo caller on a reservation. However, his love interest <laughs> dies in Oklahoma City bombing as Gump waits to meet for her at church on a bench nearby. So she dies. Um, like in the first film, these serious moments would be okay, blah blah blah. 
So yeah, apparently it was gonna be really fucking. Dark. Sounds fucking terrible. And the reason, don't don't quote me on this. The <laughs> reason awful. the reason they never fucking launched it was because that, like that week or something, um, nine eleven happened, and this was about some bombing in the movie. Oh or some shit! shit. They're so like, they're like, well, oh, we're not gonna launch. Yeah. Oh, when was Forrest Gump made? Oh, nineties, bro. Time ago. Dude, really? Tom Hanks was a stud back then, though. Castaway. Yeah, he is. Actually, He's a big time pedophile. Sure. Yep. Dude, he moved. He moved to a country where they made uh, what do you call that? Child pedophilia, not uh, felony. They decriminalize it. Yeah. What country is that? I have no idea. I forgot what it was. Let me see. I thought it was somewhere in Greece. Greece sounds scary. <laughs> <laughs> I could be way off on that though. That's a. I could be. Put those way fucking off. pedals in a wood chipper, bro. My uh, house is in Italy, <laughs> so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, for that you're tapping your leg. <laughs> Just so happy. It's not where I am. Oh. <laughs> good recall though. Yeah, that was actually. Thank you. Great memory. Do you have the lighter? Yeah. Nice. What are we doing? We got what's going on? What are you looking up? I'm looking up where uh his place out of the country. Oh. Oh, it's Greece. It is. Ooh, yep. good call. I mean not you like, way great, too much like, about that for you, but like Bro, it's a he has an own island. Uh, you knew way too much about that. Yeah. Well <laughs> I've gone down the rabbit hole of that shit. Yeah, dog. How do you dot? Mm-hmm. Dude, I literally type in Tom Hanks, and it's all conspiracy, 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 <laughs> pedophile, pedophile. But, like, literally, that's what it came up. Like, that's the search Dude, engine. Dude, when Ricky Gervais made that comment at that uh, the, the TV awards, it yes. zoomed in on him yes. at one point, and he had, like, a oh. ghost face. Oh, yeah. He got called the fuck he, out, bro. He called them all out for being, like, he made a Jeffrey Epstein joke, and then he was like, oh, shut up. You guys are all friends with him anyways. Yep, yep, and yep, it yep, zoomed yep. in on Tom Hanks, and yep. he was like, yep. No, he literally he said, like, he's like... He, like, shook his fucking head. He's yeah. pissed. He was like, you yeah. guys are all friends with Jeffrey were, Epstein. You've been to the island and shit like that. Yeah, dude. And then yeah. he, cracked, he cracked a joke about one of the Pope movies. Yep. And it showed the old dude for that. And he's just like, well, he played the same character in the movie as he does yeah. in real life yeah. on that place. Crazy. And they zoomed in on him, and he was pissed. Bro, yeah. Damn, he was just ripping He didn't him. get... Dude, Ricky Gervais didn't... He literally said, this is my last time ever fucking doing it, so screw it. Dude, it's fucking crazy. He's like, I don't know why you guys wanted me to Bro, do this Bro, Hollywood's times. getting called the fuck out lately. I love it. Oh, everyone's on strike right now. In Hollywood? I yeah. I think so, yeah. Why, Why the fuck are they on strike? There's a writer's strike. Yeah, the writers. aren't getting paid enough. Because oh, they no. were going to replace them all with AI. <laughs> That's crazy. Really? Yeah, that's why. Because they were going to sign close. their faces away and shit, and then Whoa. they were just going to AI put them that's in That's what you get for fucking around with it, dude. Wow. Yeah. Stop playing with it. That's yeah, and, people and are gonna keep dude, Hollywood's not budging. They're like, all right, good. Because, <laughs> dude, at the end of the day, if if someone at the higher-ups is making more money, fuck it. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, well, that's yeah. fucked, yeah. bro. They're Damn. making, they're saving millions. Yeah, they're like, we, yeah. and they can do it. And AI, dude, look at uh, like video games. Video game uh, creators are about to go on strike. Yeah, now, so yeah. They're joining them because they're Hollywood oh. is still like not budging. Oh. They're like, dude, they gotta stop playing with that shit. It's yeah, wild. We made, it's dude. Over. It's you know what's crazy though. They do say in in a conspiracy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in on this. Let's get into conspiracies, oh, bro. Jesus. I love it. And I, 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 hold on. They do say that in movies. Um, I remember it's watching dying. a video. They said you got to pay attention to the theme. Like they'll say that every year there like starts becoming a more and more and more of a theme mm. that you'll notice in like theater productions. And you've noticed the one big time, not just within like uh, Marvel and DC films, but like other films they're making about is like time the travel, multiverse, baby. time travel, time, all yep. that type of stuff. It's becoming a really common thing. I swear to God. If Kang the Conqueror comes in this bitch, <laughs> bro, hey, I love how that's where you go. <laughs> but they do say that that's it's like a common the theme with Hollywood. I Fuck listened to this podcast. Okay, this guy came on named Matt Lacroix. Whoever's listening or watching this, look up Matt Lacroix and listen to the pod- his podcast, two part series on Julian Dory podcast. Absolutely insane. The dude changes fucking history of human fucking like recorded human history. Everything the past six thousand year window has been proven wrong to be much much older. Twisted around, and then he's like. And the crazy part is, at the end of the entire two-part podcast, he's like, there's people in our world that we have no idea who they are, but they know about this. Like, they, what I'm saying, they know about it, but it's, like, purposely not told to anybody. And he says, he points out at least a dozen different movies at the end of this podcast where he's like, this movie points out this point here. This point here relates back all the way to these people and how they worshipped the this star system and how this relates to the people of South America. And he's like, and, like, the movie... Um, Oh my God! Why am I blanking on it? But something like falls from the sky, and there's a there's Easter eggs after Easter egg after Easter egg after Easter egg in all these movies, like Lance is talking about, of like not just aliens, but of like history and shit being false 
and fucking conspiracies and all this stuff. And it makes you wonder, like, dude, the word conspiracy theory, that's when it's a theory. But when it starts to come true, that's when it's a fucking conspiracy. Yeah, I will say You know, and this shit's being pointed out. Like, like, dude, all the shit with pedophilia in Hollywood and um, Sound of Freedom and all this stuff, dude. Like, And same thing with, like, uh, satanic shit. You know, like Scary with Doja stuff. Cat and with fucking um, that oh, one dude that, dude was that so dressed creepy. up as the devil. That was so um, creepy. It's, dude, it's staring at us in the face. They're yelling at us, hey, this is us. This is what we do. We have no, the, the laws of, is, we're above the fucking law. We can do whatever the fuck we want. And the people, like, people just think it, think of you it gotta, as art. It's because people have so much money. Yes. So much money. By the way, this you, has, you run out of stuff to do. Yes, exactly, exactly. What I would say, this topic, like this is, I would say this, the Hollywood topic is not even political at all. I think it's just kind of fucking no, evident no, at it's this not. point. It, well, it's, I, I it sounds crazy to say, no. but dude, I'm sorry. That's what but, social media did though, dog. I'm like, <laughs> for those listening, if you think the do- like, and this is my take again, subjective viewpoint, but like if you look at Doja Cat's page over like the past year and a half, yeah. and then those photos of her dressed up as the devil yeah. sideways sure on the know. wall with like no caption. I was sitting in my apartment doing laundry at like 12 o'clock at night, and I looked at that, and I was like, the fuck yeah, is that? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's unsettling. You Dude, she to looks me. like you She looks like the insidious one character's yeah, face, it's scary. and yeah, that yeah, yeah. shit sends like shivers down yeah. your spine. Dude. And Lance, she killed not... it at the VMAs, though. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she fucking murdered it. I, I watched I that set. Still. I was like, fuck I'll it. never. I, I was like, get it, bitch. I don't no, like it. It, I don't makes, like it, at all. it makes me uncomfortable. There's no. There's, it's all about demoralization, bro. If we can begin to normalize shit like that, where it's on TV in front of our children, Sam Smith. What? Too, what dude. Why do you think they're trying to uh, fi- trying to uh, incorporate dude. the term maps into the the entire spectrum of shit? It's so yeah. creepy. Minor attracted persons. Because if we so can, creepy. if we can demoralize everybody, uh, why don't you think they haven't brought up the fucking Jeffrey Jeffrey Epstein list? Whoever the fuck is on, I don't give a shit. Hasn't it been four years? It's been yeah, whatever. You know, it's. Been because it's the demoralization, put, have people look past it so it can slowly become normal in society. Same thing with the satanic shit with Doja Cat. It's, it's 100% intentional. And it's like, it's not political. No, it's, it's not. The it's pe- creepy. Like, whoever, it's, it's, it's only like political if you think about it political because it's like, oh, that person that they're talking about, Doja Cat, she... Her ideology leans more so this way or this way. Now, oh, they're they just they're automatically on the opposite side now, but it's not. It's just like we're no. observing something that we think is very fucked up. It has nothing to do with what we believe in, or like politically. I'll you know just say that, like, I no. wonder how rich you have to be to get into like that club. Oh, dude, different, we different, were talking about with different, C-Bone, dude. Different. Last night, right? Yeah, he'll never, he'll yeah. never join no, that he group. He'll no, never. No, no. but yeah. I'm, it could have been. He could have. He could have. He's getting to that status, dude. He's got 18 million Instagram followers. Well, dude, remember that's he, different. Uh, that's different. He's he's been asked before, like if he would do acting, and I'm pretty sure he said he would. Said no, good, right? Good, he's smart because right? he's already like eliminating himself from the problem. I think exactly. he wants to just good like point. buy a mansion Stay and in disappear. Florida. Stay, Stay yeah. in Florida, just win Olympias. Because when yeah. he retires, he's gonna probably fall off the map for a little bit. He might for a while, yeah. probably. I feel like he's just gonna Who buy cares, it. dude. He's gonna be so wealthy and He'll running do a so pop many businesses. He's just gonna he's gonna build a cabin, supplement companies. He's gonna make appearances. And he'll probably sponsor he's gonna, the Olympia a couple times. He's gonna make supplement companies, or he, if if he ever splits away from his uh, endorsements now, but also like he's, I bet he'll start promoting shows and making his own shows. Yeah. I was just gonna say, I hope yeah, he does yeah, like a so. C bum like classic. C-bum classic. It's Imagine as big this, as the Arnold, so but it's yeah. just yeah. classic. It's yeah. just showing it's just classic That'd physique, cool. and you that. only get an invite. It's the top twenty classic That'd physiques be in the sick. world. Sick. Becomes That'd like be cool, that. yeah, dude. And the award is him hitting so that bad. fucking like front vacuum. Yeah, dude, that'd be <laughs> so cool, yeah. dude. Raw's like the head sponsor. It's like a five hundred thousand dollar grand cool. prize. You make it like a shit ton of oh, money. Oh yeah, you make that grand prize more than the O, and like everybody oh, sure. treats that. Bigger. And that's easy money to them. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, point. yeah. They just made a deal with Walmart, dude. I know. They They're just gonna made go a off. deal with Walmart. They're gonna go off. They are not now millionaires. They're on their way to becoming bigger. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dog. They're crazy. They're huge. Because once you're in Walmart, you're C4. Yeah. Like C4 is the most well outside of bodybuilding. It is the most used supplement. Yes. Agreed. Like agreed. Across. And you hear random people in gym. And it's shit. You see him just scooping or someone will be like, oh, I just started taking (laughs) pre-workout. I got like that C4 stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. God, there's Uh another one. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. That's how you know you just started. Yep. That's the first so maturity bad. level of everybody. Training, yeah. Everybody buys it. And gold standard. Everybody and gold buys standard. It. Oh, and gold standard. Dude, I remember seeing that protein powder in like all the big dudes' locker rooms as a yep, freshman, and I, I remember I saw that and I'm like, "Oh, you gotta get that, bro." That's what I would get. And yeah. then I would see the Muscle Tech uh, mass gainer bags, <laughs> Me too. and yep. I'm like, "Creatine oh, better." <laughs> Does oh, everyone fucking the gold remember standard their first creatine? tub of protein they bought? Gold yeah, just standard. the gold, gold standard, standard uh, the chocolate. Body Fortress was mine. 
Mine was like the when you could get it, like the green. Really? The green oh, Arnold we've done one. this. We've yeah. done this topic. Have I know. We? I remember because mm. I remember your answer, dude. Right. Fuck. What? D box out too. Why? God damn. Good. Why? If we fucking lose to Atlanta, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, we're gonna lose, dude. Fuck. I have a question for everybody. Okay. What is a random profession that we would choose apart from what we're doing now? That you think that you'd be really good at? I just talked to Cassidy about this. She asked me that question, and I said I don't think I could do anything else. <laughs> he goes, detec- he's like, I can't. He goes, detective, detective. <laughs> detective, probably Batman. Work at McDonald's. Does a 360 spin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, work at. He goes manager at McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's manager. <laughs> he's in the back, like just sweating, making. Dude, no, he's just hand on hips, looking at all the food smell, going. This is the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> I've made it. <laughs> I've made it. And they made fun of it. <laughs> what, about, what, what about you, Lance? Um, something that I think I'd be good at. Yeah, like random profession. Dude, sports. Uh, You'd be Ooh. good at. I think I would want to do sports announcer. Sports uh, announcing, or I'd want to do sports sales for sure. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. that you would be good. Yeah. At. Mar- ah, marketing for sports. Marketing yeah, for sports. I would love to hear your voice over the. Oh, dude. While I'm watching the TV. I'm telling yeah. you right now, dog. Thursday night football. If I could wake <laughs> up in another realm to do what Wayne Larravee does for the Green Bay Packers would be a dream come true. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Dude, hearing his voice on a Sunday morning, grabbing oh, a coffee, yeah. and he's just talking about the Packers, and you're just like. Yeah. I get nostalgic because I remember his voice just on the radio in my dad's truck and stuff. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Going up north. I oh, love that. Dude, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Diva, what about you? What kind of profession like, uh, you'd be good at? I don't know, man. I can't, can't even really think of one. Apart from you're doing now, yeah, CIA assassin. I think what you're fucking you. doing now is almost I, your dream I job. I could see you being like. Deathstroke. That'd be sick. Deathstroke. You could be an instructor for like. Yeah, shut that's up. kind of what I'm getting into now. Is my new job. Yeah, so. true. We'll see job. how this goes. Okay, okay. I'm super excited for it. You want right. you want to tell the people what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. I don't think you announced it yet. No, um, I'm working with the uh, uh, Delta Defense and the United States Concealed Carry Association. So, so we're going to be doing some training events and instructing. Way, baby. And yeah. Buy guns. Yep. Keep getting people memberships and stuff like that with the United States yeah. Concealed Carry. Yeah. If you, guys, if you guys have your Concealed Carry license and uh, you're gonna you want need the insurance, it. hit up Devo. He'll get you hooked up with a uh, very affordable insurance, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Way to put on the sales twist. Though. Yeah, I was going to say. Affordable. Yo, it'll fit your budget. Hey, it, we're going to get it I, in there. You don't want to fucking, fit. you know... Save yourself, protect yourself, and then go to prison. You want yeah. some fucking insurance? Yeah, on that's that the shit. craziest thing I've been learning. Is you're like, gonna shoot someone? Yeah, you're gonna want to use uh, basically. Be insured. <laughs> basically, you're screwed. If you if murder somebody, make sure you have insurance. Okay, you feel kind of safe with your. What gun if I on shoot you, them in the foot or something, dude? You get going, insurance. You're going to jail. Really? Yeah. That's wild, isn't that? That's we live in a shit place. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yep. Wait, hey, but it's way better than the other we're states in the Midwest. We're in the greatest country in the world. Oh, 100 percent. Wait, no, debatably. I'm, I'm going to debate that. I'm going to say this. I'm saying we've never been the greatest. We have the potential to be the greatest. We had a boom. That's a big difference. Yeah, maybe. Big we, uh, difference. Maybe. We got a. <laughs> yeah, that is a good difference. That's but cool. We, yeah. Uh, I think yeah, good job, one. Nick. Thanks, buddy. Um, Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we have a German lady who works at our company, and she gave a presentation. She talked about how cool the company was because in Germany, when she lived there, if you had a firearm, they could come. Yeah. Raid your house at Crazy. like 2 a.m. and yeah. look for your papers. And wow. Like, she's like, they would just show up at all hours and like yeah. check for like, your paperwork and they're allowed to just raid your home kind when of I, thing. Samson, I was talking to Samson. At <laughs> so the, then she uh, came here and her, her husband bought a gun and he, she was like, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, nah, no one gives a fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's like, look it. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha gotcha uh, it's fucking, fucking a dude that's america when i was talking to samson at the olympia when we were at that we were at that shooting range yeah um samson and mel and and neil too all right um all right peter neil toss one up for the big boy they saying oh yeah um they were like they were so fucking like shocked that people can own those things i'm like yeah. dude why like I get that you guys don't have the Second Amendment. People can own them, but it's very, very hard to get them there. And he's like, dude, if you're a police officer and somebody is threatening your life and you kill that person, before the investigation starts, you go to jail. And then by the time, if you get cleared and like that was a, you took that person's life for the protection of the safety of others around you or yourself, like you can never become a cop again. That's what he said. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? That's ass. Yeah. Dude, that's, like I, if you kill somebody, 